Are you thinking about moving to Austin but want the hindsight of somebody who's been here for a few years? In this video, we're gonna be chatting with people that have moved to Austin over the past couple years and what they didn't know before they moved to Austin. So, stay tuned. So we're gonna be talking about different things that we didn't know before we moved to Austin. It's not gonna be one of those clickbaity, what I wish I knew before I moved, and you know, sort of implying if we had known these things that we wouldn't actually live here. It's really just kind of a guide of things that you might not think about if you're gonna to move to the Austin area. So as always, if you agree, disagree, have things that we didn't think about, put it in the comments below and let's go. So Colleen, how long have you been in Austin? I have been in Austin for about four years. And what's something that you didn't know before you moved here? I knew it was a college town, but I didn't realize how small town it would seem or feel. What do you mean by that? Like you can actually run into people that you recently met or you know, um, which I think is sort of weird coming from a bigger town like Houston where I grew up. So Catherine, how long have you been in Austin? We moved here about six months ago. And what surprised you or what did you not know about Austin before you moved? We had no idea how many perks there are as a veteran family for buying process and homeowning in general. We were pretty surprised how high the property taxes were. Um, so as a veteran family, we we're able to kind of combat that with unique programs here in Texas that are not a thing in other states I've lived in. So that was really exciting for us. So where did you move from? We moved here from Idaho and we learned when we got here that you actually have to register all your vehicles here before you can get a Texas state ID, which is not a thing in Idaho. So do that before you go to the DMV and wait for an hour. So Jessica, how long have you been in Austin? Um, so I moved here in 2011, spent about five, 10 years here. I actually took a little stint away in 2017 and then came back in 2020 after COVID hit. Okay, and so you've, you've been here, we're away, we're back. So what are some of the things that you didn't know about Austin uh, when, you, when you moved here the first time? So I think one of the big things was cost of living. When I first moved here, I was a nurse and I was making a lot less than I had in another bigger city. And uh, it was harder to afford rent than I expected, even though rent prices were a lot lower. Um, and cost of living has just gone up every year. So rent prices have gone up, home prices have gone up. So it's just kind of surprised me, I guess, coming from a bigger city, seeing um, that, you know, your dollar doesn't go as far here as I expected it to. So I've also heard that a lot of people are kind of thrown off a little by the geography and they didn't expect it to look quite the way that it does. So what did you not know about the geography of Austin? Yeah, before I moved to Austin, I didn't realize like how much green space there was. So the Barton Creek uh, Greenbelt actually spans like north to south. So a lot of different neighborhoods have access points to that. And along with that, there's like watering holes and really pretty like hiking trails that you can hop on. So there's really no excuse to not be outside in Austin. Well, so what about the weather? I've heard, you know, a lot of people are surprised at how warm it is in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah, so it is really crazy hot. Um, really, I think the only way to be outside in the summertime is if you're swimming. Um, and there are a bunch of great swimming holes. When I first moved to Austin, one of my favorites was, of course, Barton Springs, um, which is a great swimming hole that stays cold all year round. So if you are sitting out in the sun and you need some refreshment, jumping into Barton Springs is great. So Lee, how long have you been in Austin? Uh, it's been a year now, actually, right on the dot. And what are some things that you didn't know before you moved to Austin? Oh man, there's a lot of things, but I came here with a dog from Dallas and I love how dog friendly the city is. Everywhere you want to go, everyone, where you want to eat, hang out with your friends, they allow dogs. In Dallas, it was, you'd be lucky if they allowed your dog outside, but here I love that. So it just kind of goes with the city vibe of like greenery, outdoors, everyone's like very chill. Um, I love that part of it, that's for sure. So you've only been here for a few months, so what about transportation and kind of getting to and from Austin? What's, what didn't you know before you moved to Austin? So getting around Austin itself kind of takes a while, but also flying here, there's not that many direct flights from other places. So it's been a little bit of a struggle for our family being in other states, but we're just convincing them to move here, so it's a perfect solution. So Drake, how long have you been in Austin? I've been in Austin now about two years. And what surprised you when you moved to Austin? What didn't you know about being in Austin? Yes, the biggest thing that caught me off guard was the amount of traffic. Um, I didn't really take into consideration that a 12, 13 mile drive would take me 30, 40 minutes, depending on you know which location I'm going to get to. So have you seen any changes in traffic or anything in, uh, that's in development that might help with some of that? Yes, absolutely. So the infrastructure is being completely changed. I-35 is being opened up. If you're going up north towards Georgetown Round Rock, all the roads are being worked on and it is getting smoother as time goes on. So what's, the, what's the mo one of the most interesting things that you didn't know besides the traffic when you moved to Austin? Uh, how big everybody is into the college games. Before I moved here, I didn't realize, you know, not being in Texas, the Longhorns or Austin FC is a very big thing out here. 
perfect time to go shopping when the game's going on because there is nobody else on the road. They're just watching the games. What's the general vibe of being out and about in Austin? Um, I would say it's very casual, laid back. Like this is probably the most dressed up you would ever want to get. I actually donated like quite a lot of my like fancy clothes when I moved to Austin because everyone here is just like in athletic gear, athleisure is really big. So everyone's just really down to earth and go with the flow. So what about from a uh, entertainment, the entertainment scene? Ooh, my favorite. Uh, live music and comedy, that's a thing here. So I don't know if you know, but Austin last year had 130 ticketed live music events in the city, which is kind of crazy. I don't know of any other city that has that many. So there's a big music scene, but on top of that, and what I personally like the most is the comedy scene. There's a huge comedy presence in Austin. I go out to 6th Street, that's where most of them are, honestly, downtown in that area somewhere, and you can go catch a comedy show. Uh, some of them are more hard to get into than others, but word to the wise, if you sit on the very front during a crowd work section, uh, they will rip into you relentlessly, so watch out for that. But comedy's good. <laughs> Anything else that you didn't know before you moved to Austin? Well, the restaurant scene. We got food trucks, we got tons of restaurants, but Matt's El Rancho, it's the best Mexican restaurant in the city. And if you go, they're gonna tell you it's an hour and a half wait, but it's always around 30 minutes. But never have I had a waitress at a Mexican restaurant ask me if I want queso on my french fries. <laughs> the answer is yes. I do. <laughs> and what have you liked most about moving to Austin? The thing we like most is that there's absolutely something for everyone here in Austin. Everyone on our team has vastly different interests and everyone has found their niche here in Austin. So whether you're into mountain biking or wineries or archery, you'll find your thing here and you'll find someone to do it with. So there you have it. There's things that we didn't know before we moved to Austin. So I'm Matt Van Winkle. I run the Leverage team here in Austin, Texas. We want to be your resource for all things Austin and all things real estate. So if you have a question about either one of those, shoot us an email at info at and we'll see you next time. <laughs>